Hey guys, welcome back to another Thank Truck is Friday. In this video, we're going to follow the build process on this Iveco S Way. Here we are then, the Iveco S Way, not the first time featured on our channel. There's a few other videos we've done on it, definitely one, which I'm sure will be linked here. Um, what a great looking truck. I love the styling on the outside of this, super aggressive. Iveco have done a lovely job on that. This thing is going to be specced to the max. Um, we've been given the opportunity to work on it through Southwest Truck and Van. Um, and Richie, thank you for that. Um, the customer at the end of this is very lucky because we are fitting light bars, microwaves, side skirts, the DVS system, loads of stuff. All loads of stuff that I can't even remember. The list is this long. So um, we want to show you the truck with nothing on it other than the DVS because they couldn't wait to get started on it before I had time to film this video. So sorry about that. So other than the DVS, everything else you're going to get to see the process and how it works, how it all comes out and how awesome it's going to look. So let's get into it. And here it is. Check this beauty out. So we've fitted loads of stuff on this. I mean, you've probably seen some of the time lapse, but I promise you, you haven't seen everything we've fitted. So I'm gonna walk you right around it now and take you through everything. Um, I think let's start from the top and work our way down and then we'll work our way inside. So starting off on the top of this, we've got the light fix skylight light bar. Um, Obviously light fix are new to the CUDA family for us and we're really chuffed to have them on board with us. We, they're a great product um, and they, the bars look awesome as well. Our engineers love fitting them. They, they just go onto the truck beautifully. The wiring harness is super easy to understand. So yeah, top job light fix. And it looks great on this S-Way. Um, on the bar, we've mounted three 12 inch Siberia double row LED bars from Strands. We've done loads of content on Siberia. I'm not going to bore you with that, but they look cool on this bar. And then either side of it, we've got our 809056-C is the part number, but they're clear lens, strands, beacons. Um, we just got them on a basic flash for the purpose of this video, so don't get too much strobe effect, but they do have multiple flash patterns. Um, yeah, and then also up there, the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed some Hadley air horns, two 22-inch Hadley horns. <laughs> Beautiful crisp sound that everyone expects out of Hadley. I think they're about 170 decibels per horn, so super loud. And also, they go really nice with that bar. That stainless steel together is just oh, so shiny. <laughs> Coming down in the front grille, we've got our ultra lead grille strobes. We do two versions of this. This is the forehead version. Forehead version, funny. 
the forehead version, which basically means it has four LED um, strips within it. We also do a two, -led, two head version, which is slightly cheaper and obviously just not as bright. They both have similar flash patterns. They both have sync wires so you can sync them together. And um, yeah, again, in the S-Way grill, they look pretty awesome, to be fair. What else have we got on the front here I can show you? Probably not a lot on the front. So I'm gonna walk around to the side. We'll reposition the camera. We'll do some sort of fancy cutaway. I'll do this. See, cool transition. Side skirts, four meter wheelbase S-Way, six for two. These are our side skirts in the polar white, matching the cab. Obviously we've got the steps built in with the aluminium tread plates with the reverse punch in there as well. So nice load of grip there. This side, we've got the fuel filler cap cut out, nicely finished. And then on the other side, there's a nice blank panel there. Um, so a great opportunity for some sign writing perhaps or extra lights or whatever it is you want to do. We refit the factory marker light as standard, um, but obviously there's plenty of opportunity there to add additional lighting. Talking of additional lighting, Perimeter kit with the three-in-one lights, tail brake and indicator from Bailey. Stainless steel finish, we've got the cool little Iveco logo at the top, which I think that really sets it off, it just makes it a little bit different. Um, all of the lighting is wired into the um, bodybuilder, bodybuilder module. So basically when you buy an S-Way, you have a thing called an expansion module. Um, and so if you don't have, you can spec the truck with factory prep for additional lights. If you don't do that, you should have an expansion module in the truck as long as it's been spec'd. And within that expansion module, that gives you loads of different options to be able to connect additional light in, in the correct way. There's no splice in the looms. You just don't do that. You void warranties. It's done properly and you can all come off that expansion module. Um, if you need any updates on that or if you've got any information, just give us a shout because we've got all the information on that. Um, and thank you to Iveco on that as well for helping us find that out because <laughs> it was a little bit of a tough ask to find all the outputs, but we got there in the end. So thanks, Steve, Iveco. You know who you are. I'm going to climb up because also on the back here, I'm sure you will have noticed, we have our Indel B Sleeping Well cab cooler. Rear mount. Um, the reason, well, there's two reasons you'd go for a rear mount cab cooler. Firstly, it might be that there isn't a roof mount one available for your sunroof. Um, that is the case on some vehicle, not particularly this vehicle, but that is the case on some vehicle um, where the manufacturers say that it's an escape hatch, so you can't cover it up with a cab cooler. So that would be a reason for a rear mount. The other reason for a rear mount would also be if you're height dependent or very limited on your height. Um, our Indel B cab cooler is super slim. It's only sort of 130 mil standing off the top of the roof. So it is super slim, but even that sometimes, people that might be going into grain stores or wherever else, that can be too high. So you go for this rear mount option. Basically, rear mount cab cooler works exactly the same as a roof mount cab cooler. They are, they, they're gassed. Um, when you buy a rear mount cooler, it doesn't come pre-gassed because it's a split system. So when you join it together, it then has to be gassed. If we fit them, we gas them. Um, on site here, if we fit them off site, then it's down to the customer to, to organise the gas in. It only takes a little bit of R134 gas. It's not expensive, it's just a standard air conditioning gas. Um, but yeah, so you have a, uh, an external compressor or refrigerant unit basically that does all the cooling. Um, and then we trunk up on, on the Iveco. This, this particular S-Way only had one bunk. So we'll jump inside the cab in a minute and you'll see the internal unit. So we trunk that up, go through the back wall of the cab, and then inside the cab, you have all of your cooling vents, your digital LED display with your temperature readout and all that good stuff. Um, obviously designed to be a parking cooler. That is the real whole point of these things. So when you pull up at night, you don't need to have your engine running. They have built-in protection for your battery. You can leave it on eco for seven, eight hours. It's gonna drop the internal temperature of that cab by around 10, 12 degrees Celsius. And trust me, at 30 degree evenings, that 10, 12 degrees is more than enough to get a good night's sleep and you'll definitely, <laughs> definitely be appreciative of it. Um, yeah, they're, they're a great addition. We're seeing more and more people fit them now. Um, made in Italy by Indel B. We've done loads of videos on Indel B, so if you want to see any of those, just jump back on our channel. Um, they offer a full range of cooling, which is fridges, cool boxes, air conditioning units, and, and all sorts of stuff. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it on the back here. Oh, TV aerial. 
nearly missed that. There's a telly inside, as I said at the beginning. That's our Gazelle Aerial, just hidden up nicely up the corner there. That's free view. Um, it's an omni, what they call an omnidirectional aerial. So wherever you are, you should be able to obtain a signal unless you're parked in the middle of nowhere where there's no center of population because still at the minute in the UK, the di digital TV signal is obviously based around population centers. So you might find if you're in a lay-by on the side of a motorway between two major places, you might struggle to pick a signal up, but that's just down to the coverage, unfortunately. So, right, let's jump in the cab and I'll show you what we've done in there. Oh, here we are then, inside the cab. It's cold out there today, it's meant to be sunny as well. Um, right, what have we got? We've got DVS kit, obviously it's very standard, additional screen, near side sensor, near side camera, left turn indicator um, warning screen here, full speed activated and left turn activated, so when you put your left turn down, screen comes on as long as you're under 12 miles an hour. Um, and also the alarm goes off saying warning vehicle turning left. It's an intelligent system. I've done a video on this before, I think. So the alarm will go off once. If the sensors don't pick any anyone or anything up, then it won't keep going off, which is great obviously, because it can be quite annoying sometimes with the alarm going off and there's nothing there. Um, and it's a good additional safety feature. So yeah, that's the DVS. Uh, we have the cab cooler on the back wall. So when I mentioned earlier, um, this is the internal panel. So you have four vent outlets at the bottom there. Again, they're directional, so they twist, they open up and all that kind of stuff so you can direct your air um, airflow. There's a digital panel where you can adjust the fan speed and the temperature. Um, the temperature is not the temperature of the air that comes out of the cooler. It's the temperature that the cooler is trying to create ambiently within the cab. Um, so if you turn it down to 17, don't expect it to be cold air coming out. That's the, that's the target temperature for the, for the cooler to get down to. Um, it also comes with a remote control. So if you're laying on your bunk, you haven't got to lean up or anything like that, or chilling in your passenger seat on your brake, you can, you can turn that up as well. Um, yeah, but cool, nice, nice unit, complements the interior of the cab quite well, we think. Um, and like I say, and if you've not got the second bunk there, that's it's a great option. If you have got two bunks, then all we do on the S-Way in particular is we relocate this switch panel here on the back wall and put the cooler in the middle and we relocate the switch panel over just a little bit. Uh, what else have we got? Well, we've got the Truck Chef microwave, obviously. Um, pretty standard feature in most of our videos now. Won't go through it too much, but we've got the color and texture match fascia panel to go around it. Um, obviously a fully bespoke bracket system designed for the S-Way in the front locker there. Uh, you've got your 800 watts, your 20 litres, your full ECE Reg 10 type approval. Um, built for the job. I won't bore you on Truck Chef, we do so many videos on it. Uh, and then finally we have our 16 inch, in this vehicle yes, 16 inch LED. It's not a 16 inch, it's a 19 inch LED TV. Sorry, I'll get it right. Um, that has Freeview built in and a DVD player. We've mounted that at the uh, at the end of the bunk behind the driver's head. Um, so obviously two reasons for that. If you're sat in the passenger seat, you can see it. If you're laying on the bunk, you can see it. And then from a safety aspect, you can't physically watch it whilst you're driving along because it's right behind you. Um, we do obviously offer handbrake interlock systems as well. So if you're a fleet out there looking for televisions for your drivers, we can offer a handbrake interlock where in that the TV only has power when the handbrake is engaged. Um, so talk to us about that if you need to. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much everything in here, I believe. Um, there's going to be a load of B-roll probably at the end of this showing off this truck. It does look awesome. Um, the interior on these S-Ways as well, the really, it's really stepped up. I love these leather seats with the Iveco embroidery. Um, it's a nice place to be, so top job Iveco. Uh, a few people to thank on this one. Firstly, our engineers and Dale in particular, thanks for putting up with this because we've done a few time lapses on this. Um, it has been a bit of a project, but not a bad project, a great project. It took you know, a couple of days longer than we wanted, but we wanted to make sure we got it right for the customer. Talking of which, Richie Croker down at Southwest Truck and Van, thank you for the opportunity. Um, we've loved doing this one. It's an awesome spec and I hope to do many more in the future for you. If you're down in the Southwest guys, Bristol, Swindon, that area, looking for an Iveco, get in touch with Richie. Um, I'm sure his details will be somewhere around maybe the bottom of this video or 
on the post that you found this video on. And if not, just jump on LinkedIn. He's on there all the time, uh, doing a bit of self-promotion, which is absolutely fantastic. I love that, me too. And uh, yeah, I think that's, that's it and we're done. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because there's some very, very cool stuff happening on there. Not sure if the video series has gone live yet, so I can't give it away, but you definitely want to be subscribing to our channel. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you next time. <laughs>